Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, we're going to be covering all the crew challenges in the droughts from the dead claptraps to the typhoon logs. And we'll start with dead claptrap himself. So, the first dead claptrap is just located in here, it's next to the spawn point, the quick travel station that's just located over there, and he's just standing on this car. Now for the second and final dead claptrap. It is located on the raceway just beyond Alley's scrapyard. And you go here during a mission, so you should be familiar with this place. But if you're not, it's just next to this catch a ride. You head through here, and then you have to run all the way up here. And this is the raceway right here. And if you're wondering where the claptrap is, it is just hanging around this corner up on here. Okay, now for the legendary hunt. Now if you're trying to find Lavender Crawley, it's pretty easy to find. All you have to do is head just through the left side as you come from the fast travel station. And he's located just over down in here. If you want to see a more in-depth encounter with him, you can check out my other video. But either way, good luck with the fight. So moving on to the Typhoon Logs now, and the first one is located on this hill up here. It can be a little tricky to get to if you do have a car and you're coming from the spawn point here. All you have to do is jump over the, this bridge over here, come around here, and then climb up the hill. And you'll be greeted with this point over here. And it's just sitting up here. Ah, my old stomping grounds. See that big ass monster skeleton? I was so busy hunting Iridian crap one day that he almost stomped me into a Pandora pancake. But I dove at the last second. And then I did a triple backflip straight to his mouth, right past the teeth, and shot my way out his sphincter. I smelled like monster ass for weeks, but I'd do it again, and I did. Now for the second typhoon log, and it's just located just in here. If you're wondering how to get here, you just head from the fast travel station through round here in your car. You can get here pretty quickly, and just head through here, and it's up on top of one of these rocks, the one I'm standing on right now. Hey fellow adventurers, this is Typhon De Leon. Some history dweebs paid me a buttload to record an echo series about my adventures, and Typhon needs a new ship. Crash the old one, angry Saurian broodmother, runaway sandwich, long story. Anywho, I was born to a family of turd farmers. Lot of money in turds those days. Good dependable fuel turds. That's why I always say, if you step in crap, consider the upside. Now we come to the third and final Typhoon Log, which as you can see is located quite a long way from the second fast travel station. And it's important to note it will not be unlocked until you have reached the Taking Flight Story Mission. To get here just park your car where mine is and walk all the way through. By now you've probably noticed that Pandora isn't the friendliest of planets. I'm guessing it's not any safer in your day than it was in mine. So if you see something coming, shoot first. We just call that a Pandoran handshake. Hey, who the hell are you? I'm Typhon De Leon. Nice to meet you. Here's a med pack. Yeah, I'm doing an Echo series. Sure, I'll sign an autograph. Fascinating. It seems that although Typhon De Leon disappeared decades ago, just after finishing his Echo series, his generosity extends beyond the grave. He left a weapons cache for his fans. So as explained by Tannis, now that we have discovered all the Typhoon logs in the area, we have unlocked the location to the Typhoon Dead Drop Cache, which you can see on the map here. So after you've fought your way through the barcodes that spawn in this area, you need to head behind this little shed, and you'll find the Typhoon did drop loot chest in here. Keep in mind that you can only get these once, so consider saving it for later if you have good loot, as the loot it drops is quite good. And as a little bonus, there is also a standard chest quite close by which involves a little parkour. 
All you have to do is climb up on the roof as I'm doing here. Then head along the ledge. You'll see it in the corner over there. Then make your way across the gap. You may need to spam jump to ensure you vault it. After that, jump over and there you have it. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one.